We're calling all paper craft fans. Are you looking for a new way to have fun with those great photos with some new embellishments and papers? We've got a few ideas to share. And because we love fabric just as much as paper, we're going to combine the two today. It's a paper and sewing episode. I'm Kim. And I'm Chris. And you're watching The DIY Dish. Welcome back everyone to another episode of the DIY Dish. You know, paper crafting and scrapbooking are more popular than ever. And for our first project today, we're going to share a unique idea for putting together a small storybook mm -hmm. made from wood. And thanks to today's sponsor, Adornit, we are able to showcase their line of adorable wood storybook collections. These little storybooks are a ton of fun. <laughs> now, many of you who have followed the scrapbooking industry over the last few years will recognize the name of Carolee McMullen of Carolee's Creations. Well, now Carolee and her very talented daughters <laughs> have formed a company called Adornit. And together, they have created the cutest line of scrapbook supplies, plus coordinating fabric. Let me start out by showing you an example of this darling wooden book that starts out as blanks and then allows your creativity to take over. These so, are fun. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So what you would get in this kit is this uh, four page wood booklet. But from there, you, you won't believe all the possibilities. I know, there's so it. many fun things. I love how they've used their own scrapbook papers mm -hmm. um, to embellish pictures of their family. Yeah, it's like a graduated book. So each mm -hmm. page is a little bit longer and each has a unique trim to it. Yeah, it's I love that. really, really fun. You know, another thing I love about these books is that they have these um, eight by eight little page um, inserts, inserts mm -hmm. so that you can actually scrapbook an eight by eight page size mm -hmm. and just insert it in here. And that way you can actually even add even more photos. And the nice thing is, it doesn't feel overwhelming, don't yes, you think? Yes, right. I mean, sometimes you look at an album and go, oh, I can never feel that. But something mm -hmm. like this, you could definitely do. Absolutely. I love this version. As you can see, it says love. There, that first page, wood page, is shaped like an L-O-V-E. No, very, very so fun. So cute. lots of ideas that you can do with one of these. Okay, so we decided mm -hmm. to take our hand at this wooden project yeah. and see a special gift that we could make. And so we wanted to find some small way to commemorate this special group of women. Yeah, that were friends with our grandmother. That were friends with our grandmother, yeah. whose common thread may have begun with the love of quilting, but it only mm -hmm. grew so much more. Here is an album that I've started putting together yeah. This is of Grandma, and mm -hmm. here's Susan, her dear, dearest friend, who invited her, her into their quilt group, mm -hmm. opened up their circle of friends, yeah. and Grandma became the official presser <laughs> of uh, the quilt group. Yeah. And so this is an album I've made in honor of that group. Yeah. Now, right here you see these really fun embellishments, and these are all paper flowers. And so today we thought it would be fun to show you yeah. a couple of different ways of how to do them. So let's go ahead and get started mm -hmm. with a couple of ideas that are from actually from Adornit, okay? One thing that they have that comes with the wooden the wood book, mm -hmm. the wood kit, is this piece of paper. And on there is a perforated flower, okay? Oh, that makes it easy. Exactly. <laughs> and if you can see closely here, there are some dashed lines. Mm -hmm. And what they want you to do is actually fold on those lines one way, and then you go an additional way, and one more time. So it looks as if you have a little small cone, right? Okay, sure. Okay? And then at the very tip, you'll fold it up just about, oh, a quarter of an inch or so. Okay. And then you fan this out. And you're going to just work on those pleats together and smash it down <laughs> and look at that cute flower yeah. you already have on printed paper. Nice. Pretty easy, right? Very easy. And they have all different sizes as well. Okay, so you can make smaller flowers, larger flowers. Now, another way to embellish with flowers from Adornit is their Build a Flower sticker. So you can see <laughs> here, we have all the parts of the flower sure. and they're so cute and they have a really nice um, thickness to these stickers. Great. Um, so this is perfect for these wooden books as well. 
and you can end up building your own flower. How easy is that? So I thought mm -hmm. it would be fun to show how to do a three-dimensional paper flower out of your favorite scrap of mm, paper. Okay. And so the first thing you'll want to do is pick up some kind of scalloped paper punch or okay. die cut, okay? And you'll cut out three scallops the same size right. out of that paper. And then, with your scissors, take your first piece and actually cut from the end of a scallop into the middle, just like that. Okay. You see that? Yeah. I'm going to set that aside. Then on the second one, I'll do the same thing, okay? But this time, yeah, into the middle, I'm going to go to the other half of that scallop and cut out a like little a slice of pie. A little <laughs> okay. pie wedge, exactly. All right. And then this time on my third one, I'll start from the outside again, go to the center, but this time I'm going to skip to two scallops over, and now it's just a bigger I slice of pie. I can see where this is going. <laughs> okay. This fun. So this is the, the foundation of your flower is okay. that the one, one cut. Worth, just one cut, okay. exactly. I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue, or you could use a glue dot if you wanted, or whatever you wanted like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Set that aside. Now with my second piece, I'll glue it just a little bit further. You see how this is oh, coming together? That. Yeah. Okay. And because it's the pattern paper on both sides, then that looks great both ways. Exactly. Love it. Okay. And then one more. And this time we're going to fold it over both scallops so it's a little bit tighter. Okay. Okay. All right, then when you're at the end, pretty simple. <laughs> We're just oh, going to I can see this nest those be addicting. all together. <laughs> yep. Oh, you could do so many fun scrapbook papers and fun embellishments. So adorable. If you wanted to ink the edges, you mm -hmm. could do that at this time. Um, add a little bit of glue and put in some beads or mm -hmm. a button um, for your center. And now you've got a darling three-dimensional oh. paper flower. I love that. And that's okay. what you put on the I album did. cover. Exactly. Love it. Yes. Okay. So now one of the many great things about Adornit is that not only do they have this great paper, but they've also taken these same darling designs from the paper and carried them over into their fabric line as well. Yeah. So talk about some fun ways to bring these two mediums together. We made this sweet little pink cushion here um, from a pinwheel block. Just a well-known yep. pinwheel block, very simple to do, but notice that the fabrics coordinate with the paper, which makes it really fun. Let me show you how easy it is to create this pinwheel block. Now you can start with any size square. For this one, I started with a three and a half inch square. And you'll want to cut, uh, for each pinwheel portion, you'll want to cut two fabrics and, and put them together. So I have a three and a half inch block here. I'm going to put right sides together, just like that. And then I want to actually take um, a fabric pen or a pencil mm -hmm. and a ruler and draw a line from one corner of it to the next corner. What okay. we're going to be making here are half square triangles. Yes. So real I simple. Love those. So what I did here, as you can see, is I drew that line just from corner to corner, mm -hmm. and then take it over to your sewing machine and sew one quarter of an inch on each side of the line. Of that center. So notice mm -hmm. here, my stitch line is a quarter of an inch from this stitch line, or from this drawn line, and then the second side, same thing, quarter right. of an inch. Yep. Now, once you have that done, <laughs> very simple, you know exactly where to cut because you're going to cut directly on the line with your scissors. This is so fun. Goes together really I quick. I love half square triangles. Lots there you of go. fun things you Voila. can do with them. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a half square triangle. Now you're going to do this three more times. So you're going to want four of these blocks. So now we're going to go ahead and trim off these little extra ends here. Just to keep things square. Alright. And once you've done that to four different blocks, you'll want to arrange them in pinwheel fashion. <laughs> So you'll put one So here. fun to see this come together. I one love it. Here. Let's see, one there, and nope, one there. Yeah, it's almost like a little puzzle, yes. putting it together. Very <laughs> fun to see it come together. Okay, at this point, you'll sew two sides together, the short ends here, and then two sides together over here, so you get something like this, and then bring it back together mm -hmm. to sew all four blocks. Pretty together. easy. Pretty simple. From there, press it. Here we've got a different fabric here, but you can see that I took 
um, another square, just the same size as the top. Yes. Sewed around all four sides, left about a two inch opening. Yep. Turned it inside out. Make sure and leave that hole there. And if I can find it, <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere in there. I know there, I left uh, it open. Ah, oh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> There's a hole. Then what we like to do, as you know, is take some wal ground walnut litter. <laughs> yes, yes, you can buy that in your local pet store and uh, fill that bean bag of sorts, I guess you could call it. <laughs> pin cushion. That little pin cushion mm -hmm. is, is great with walnut litter. Yeah. And then take um, some kind of bead or button and just stick it right there through the center. So to go along with this special keepsake book we made today, mm -hmm. we wanted to make just a little something special for these lovely women mm -hmm. from our grandmother's quilt group. Yeah. And so to honor their friendship for mm -hmm. our grandmother, we've chosen to make a pin cushion for each of them yeah. with a pearl, pearl <laughs> centered in the middle of each one for our grandma, Pearl Warren. So to Susan, Connie, mm -hmm. Nancy, Gerdy, Tamara, Vicki, Mary, <laughs> Claudia, Kathy, and Brigida, thank you. To close, we want to thank today's sponsor, Adornit. Be sure to check out their website to see their full line of scrapbooking supplies, fabrics, notions, even wardrobe and fashion accessories. Really cute. <laughs> Plus, you'll want to be sure to pick up one of those cute wooden storybooks for your next project. They've got a lot to share along with some great tutorials as well. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you felt that creativity was served. Bye-bye. So